eye ball exercise is very very important because the eye can see two and a half kilometers yes not only it can see you can even observe and observation gives us clarity of consciousness consciousness is very close to truth and enlightenment where you see god the boy most of the time people forget to do the eye ball exercise so i i tell my people when they are looking at the mobile and the tv for long time every one hour to gain flow water and spring into the eyes 10 times 20 times 30 times just very good very good yes i will like this you can sit like this and look up down up down you can do it 10 times right left right left right rotation go one two three back three two one yes it's very very nice and those who think they have sight problems they're having their glasses start applying castor oil here and here will go to sleep yes, it increases eye power and of course eating vegetables is very good but not only the eye exercise the neck is very very important it has got a connection from here to the eyeball the flexibility is very very important so the neck exercise the joints yes and this is very very good for thyroid members people who has got thyroid yes neck exercise neck exercise and then the rotation don't forget to do this very much sitting and people are not moving much in the chair you think you cannot you are not allowed by your supervisor to get up every one hour to move around just do this much and then raise the hands just open and close open and close. this is very very good to improve your power in the heart yes very good it rejuvenates every part of the body yes yes it rejuvenates every part of the body kashyapa's preaching sign that is the 22nd story from the uh, gateless gate from the book zen flesh zen bones written by paul reps ananda as kashyapa buddha gave you the golden woven robe of successorship what else did he give you kashyapa said ananda <laughs> Ananda answered, "Yes, brother," said Kashyapa. "Now you can take down my preaching sign and put up your own." <laughs> What else did he give you? Kashyapa said, "Ananda, Ananda, is you. Uh, what else is right in front of you? the husband, the wife? <laughs> What is in front of the wife, the husband? What is in front of the wife and the husband, the children? <laughs> What is in front of the husband, wife, children, the family?" connected to the relatives relatives are not related to this what is connected what else is in front of the relatives the joint family what is in front of the joint family is family tree if that consciousness is there the eye can see 2 and 1/2 km the ears can hear 2 and 1/2 km you can smell 2 and 1/2 km the chakruki art practiced by many martial artists yes <laughs> that once you forget that deep penetration whatever wealth you make whatever money comes to you whatever little love comes to you you try to hold it and hold it it runs away whatever comes to you stagnant water stinks flowing water is fresh water yes so please make sure that it is flowing what else did he give you kashyapa said anand <laughs> anand means joy blissful happiness ananda parmananda in the whole of hindu culture is ananda parmananda <laughs> when they are doing the bhajan early morning with the wife and the children when they clean the floor the first ah uh, the first sound the raga thala palavi comes from that feeling of that prayer song together they sing and clean the house together together is very important all houses not that the husband sits and the wife does it recently one lady came i think um chakravorty chaturvedi i don't know i forgot her his daughter came she said i i've just came back from us and now i'm working in india when i was in us people used to ask me what happened to your hand maybe i when i'm cutting some vegetables it will cut happened in my hand so i said i was cooking 
You're cooking. She said, I'm cooking for my husband. And they couldn't believe, you are cooking for your husband. <laughs> There's no cooking for your husband. You're cooking and everybody putting their hand together. Not that the, you're cooking your husband. And, and Yes, what they were shocked, that is the truth. And in India, it's a way of life. But that way of life has been created by the invading army thousand years back and it continued. Men also should participate in the women and the children together. No, no, children come back from the school that you have to just put in plate. They, they must participate. They must. Only then the food has got a taste. <laughs> if they don't participate, you put the sugar in the coffee the, and sugar refuses to melt. No, the sugar should participate and melt only there is a taste. Yes, the whole family. Ka Kashyapa said, robe of success, what else did he give you? Kashyapa said, Ananda. When I was small, I visited Ramakrishna Ashram and Purushottam and Swamiji. Uh, most of them who were in Ramakrishna Ashram and Bangalore, Purushottam and <laughs> Very nice, young, uh, healthy Swamiji. All the youngsters just go to him. He told me once, have you read the City of Joy? Go and read City of Joy. <laughs> yes, I bought the book City of Joy and from that time I purchased hundreds and thousands of books, City of Joy, and distributed all around the world where I travel. travel. It's beautiful. <laughs> that City of Joy means Ananda, Ananda Nagar. Ananda Nagar means the City of Joy. There you can understand the whole world story. It's, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs>